Hi, my name is Georgia Fu, and I'm Taiwanese-American, and I'm the director and editor of this film. Philip and Prabhu were super open and generous. It was truly inspiring to see how much they worked for and gave back to the Asian-American community. And on top of that, it was also really inspiring to see two artists within the same field supporting each other, uplifting each other. And it really showed me what community meant. It was important for me to make this film because I wanted to have this opportunity to have this really great, meaningful dialogue with these two artists from the Asian American community. And also, storytelling is important for Asian American heritage because that is how history is written. If we don't find ways to tell our stories artistically through poetry, through art, through film, through literature, someone else will do it for us. And that's the way communities become marginalized, diminished, so we have to find a way to tell our stories ourselves. My name is Philip Lim. I am a fashion designer and co-founder of the brand 31 Philip Lim. I am originally of Chinese descent. I was born in Cambodia. I grew up in Southern California, and now for the past 19 years, I call New York City home. I'm Prabhul Gurung. I'm a fashion designer based in New York. I was born in Singapore. I grew up in Nepal. That's where my family's from. I lived in India, London, Australia, and I came to New York. Uh, it's been, what, 20 years now? I don't know any other way to exist other than to be Asian-American and with my community. From the moment I wake up to the kanji I crave for breakfast, to phone calls with my mother spoken in um, our mother tongue, to um, my work, to my work environment, which is comprised of more than 80% AAPI members of the community, to my local uh, grocery shopping in here in Chinatown, to the advocacy work that I do with the community to uplift voices and bring light to stories. So I guess you can say I'm all in, and I know no other way of living. You know, food is like the easy go-to part. That's how we connect, that's how we show love, that's how we say we are angry or we love you or we are like, you know, you're part of our family or you're not. But I think most importantly for me, growing up in Nepal and in India, you know, where music is such a big part of our life and dancing, all that stuff, the food, music, everything, allowed me to become a dreamer and have the audacity to have the impossible dreams. You know, when I started this profession and the brand about 19 years ago, there were always three questions that were in rotation. First one would be, do you make Chinese clothes? Second one would be, are dragons and phoenix a common motif in your fashions? Third one would be, how does it feel being Asian and in fashion? And I was quite taken by that because I've always been here. I grew up in America even though I am of Asian descent. So I always thought that it was annoying. And more importantly, I felt inside instinctually, this is racism, uh, systemically racism at work. And my answer would be, you would never see my Asianness in my work. You would feel it. You would feel the value system. You would feel the respect. You would feel the integrity. You would feel the love of cloth, and the human form. Um, once you put it on, you will feel all these things, and that makes it Asian. To me, courage is really having a clear understanding of who you are, and being authentically yourself, and unapologetically yourself in your full glory, and understanding that authentic self in your full glory is the biggest resistance to those people who want to put us in a monolithic box. My hope for the Asian American community is that we continue to become together. You know, this community is comprised of so many ethnicities, um, generations, 
And I find that we have to have empathy for each other. We have to learn about each other's histories and share stories so that we can become stronger together. We are so privileged that we have this opportunity. We found our passion and we found what we love doing. And we are able to tell these stories. And I think with that privilege comes a responsibility. How do we take the space that we have and give it to others? How do we impact? Because the absolute truth about our life is it's impermanence. We all have to go. What do we leave behind?